After more than 60 years in downtown Santa Maria, the police department has moved into a new home in a different part of the city. SMPD celebrated opening day at the new headquarters on Betteravia Road. That's where we find KCOY 12's Corey James. And Corey, the police started off their day in a very special way. And Scott, this morning, police raised the American flag on the flagpole just on the other side of this building for the very first time. And people in the community were watching as this once vacant building became home to over 100 law enforcement officers. The honorary guard made it official, raising the American flag for the very first time in front of the brand new Santa Maria police headquarters. The building is located right before Blosser and Skyway on Betteravia Road. It's been in the making for almost 10 years, and Monday morning marked its opening day. After the ceremony, officers walked to their new lockers, grabbing their stuff before hitting the road to patrol the streets. Chief Ralph Martin gave us a tour of the new station that he says is big enough to hold all of the officers under one roof. Before we had off-site, uh, we didn't have outside lockers. Uh, we really didn't even have enough employee parking. So we're all going to be on one f in one facility and one lot's about three acres. And that's really exciting to all be together. And nearby businesses like Smith Pipe and Supply and signs of success are excited about the new police station too. They both have had their bouts with thieves and vandals and say having law enforcement not even a half mile away is just a little extra security. We're hoping that with uh, the, the police department moving closer that it will be uh, an improvement for the area. And now with the police being in there, you couldn't ask for better neighbors. Now, Chief Martin did say he is going to miss being in the city, but he says going from 15,500 square feet to 72,000 square feet isn't a bad move at all. Reporting live in Santa Maria, Corey James, KCY 12 Central Coast News. Okay, Corey, thanks a lot.